Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today I want to show you guys a really cool mod that you could do to your Proxmox, which allows you to pass through your integrated GPU to your VM. So let's check it out. Now, I personally do a lot of home lab stuff, especially on Proxmox and a lot of Docker stuff. So if you guys are interested in seeing more Proxmox stuff, uh, let me know down in the comments below. But with that being said, Let's get started. Now, the recent mod that I found for Proxmox is actually very exciting for me because it allows you to actually pass through your integrated GPU over to your VMs. Now, about last year around this time, I actually converted my Proxmox over to a mini PC, which I'll leave a link over here. And since then, it's been great a power usage wise. I was able to get all my VM testing, stuff like that. But the only downside is I can't add a GPU. So I don't have any GPUs to any VMs, which limits what I can do with each VM. With that being said, having this little mod will greatly improve the usage of your virtual machines. Now, I also did a video recently on Proxmox allowing you to use the GPU only on Linux virtual machines, which I'll leave a link over here. That's been great, but it only works for OpenGL. So it's not really a dedicated GPU like this, which actually allows for transcoding or graphical applications like Photoshop or FreeCAD. So it's a huge difference between the two. If you just need OpenGL to work, you can use the original method that I have posted over there. Very simply allows Proxmox to use the uh, OpenGL through your Linux virtual machines, but it doesn't work for Windows. So uh, let's jump into my desktop. This is the original article that I was searching for and I found it through here, how to pass through your GPU through Windows 11. And you can see he's using Ander Lake integrated graphic card controller. And he's actually using a mini PC as well, which is a B-Link i5-1248P, which is really close to what I got. But unfortunately for me, I actually have an 11th gen and that seems to be a huge problem. So if you guys have an 11th gen, your mileage may vary on if you could pass through or not. But anything like 12th gen or 13th gen CPUs, they seem to work pretty much fine. Now, going down this list, he actually has instructions on how to compile everything, which is the same that you would find on the GitHub, but things do change slightly depending on the kernel that you have. So this is the actual GitHub that provides you with this pass-through option. And it does work for Linux 6.1 all the way to Linux 6.5. And again, depending on your kernel version, and as of right now, the kernel version for Proxmox is uh, 6.2. So unless you're not using the Proxmox kernel and you're using a different kernel, you, you can still compile it towards the kernel version. And again, he has the same instructions here as well, but just remember the package version reflects the version of kernel that you're using. So 6.1 would be um, Proxmox 8.0 and 6.2 would be Proxmox 8.0.4, which is the latest version I'm using right now. And you would have to change it respectively. So this would be uh, 6.2, you would have to change this folder to 6.2. And when you're compiling, you have to make sure the version is 6.2. So there's there's little bit of things that you have to change around just to get it to work. So just keep that in mind when you're compiling. Now, there is another version over here that allows you for use of Raptor Lake, which is version 13, but it fixes some issues with Looking Glass. So if you guys are planning to use Looking Glass with this, uh, you can follow this guy's tutorial. And I will leave all the links that I'm showing you right here down in the description below so you can use them for reference. But yeah, he has a lot of things about uh, getting this to work with Looking Glass and everything. So if you are interested in getting this working and you have 13 gen, this might be the article that you might be looking for. Now, personally, I got this to work on my VM only once and I was on Proxmox 8.0.1 kernel version 6.1 and when I first initially tried everything I managed to get it to work and it was able to detect the graphic card I was able to get everything working um, but that was short-lived and that was my problem because I ended up getting so excited playing around with this. I was like, oh, let me upgrade my Proxmox. Next thing you know, the kernel version updated, everything just broke and even recompiling it uh, didn't bring it back. So I need to probably look into a kernel issue or maybe change the kernel again or roll back to the original kernel just to see if I can get it to work. I also had an issue where I had to use a very specific version of um, the Intel graphic drivers, which is 101.3222. Now the latest version is 4953 as of making this video and I wasn't able to get the graphic card working but the 3222 or yeah 3222 was able to work. Again 
it worked only for kernel version 6.2 and I am on um, Intel 11th gen. So again, it's a very hit or miss with this um, generation of CPUs. Uh, I didn't see any problems with 12 or 13 as I'm doing research on this, but 11th gen is the one where people were having like, you know, issues where they are able to get it or not. But fortunately for us, like you could still see that I am able to detect the Intel Iris GPU, which means it's passing through correctly. It's just something's triggering it probably in the kernel side where it's not allowing to work. Now, upon doing more discovery, I found out that if you're going to compile this for a different kernel, you do need to follow this issue board because you do have to change some of the code just so it would allow it to compile, uh, namely this little bit over here. And I had to do this myself just to get it to compile on 6.2. Uh, furthermore, uh, I will, this is where I found success with getting it to work on 11th gen through this issue board over here. Uh, this little thing over here kind of gives you what you need to do and how to build and what versions of uh, drivers were able to get this to work. And this is what you should be seeing. Like if you go into performance, you should be able to see the Intel GPU, transcoding, decoding, all this other stuff. But like I said, uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you much of this in action because I broke it before I was able to do that, which was clumsy on my part. And I do plan to fix this. Again, either rolling back my kernel or compiling something, uh, compiling another kernel that will possibly work. And he, this lays out a lot of information that you do need uh, if you are running 11th gen CPU. So furthermore, this is huge news. Like if you, I head over to my Proxmox, I'm able to see if I go into hardware, my GPUs. I could just go over here, edit, uh, jump down here, and I'm able to see all my GPUs, the Tiger Lake, Tiger Lake. All this is great. I'm able to select it. Just don't select the first one because that's the native one that you're using. But every other one you're able to use and pass through. And it works fine. It's just, again, my little issue with it is I made a little mistake. Now, your mileage may vary with this. And I do hope that it's actually very easy for you guys to get this to work. It is still very experimental. As you can tell, it broke my computer when just trying to update the kernel. So, again, play around with it. I know this has tons of applications to it. So if you're able to get this to work, you could possibly run a VM with Plex or a VM with Jellyfin with transcoding or just run a VM just for transcoding or anything that has to use a graphic card, you're able to do this, especially on a mini PC where you can't add a dedicated graphic card. Well, anyway, that is it for me, guys. I just wanted to lay this little bit of news down. If you guys are interested in seeing more Proxmox content or home lab contents, like stuff I'm serving, let me know down in the comments below. I am interested in sharing this stuff because I do a lot. Even like running Mac OS, um, like right over here. I'm able to run it off my VM and everything and test whatever I need to test. So yeah, Proxmox has gone a long way for me. I've been using it since version 1.9 uh, back in 2010. So the amount of things I've added to this and took away and things have changed, it's intense. Anyway, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.